Bonjour à tous, bienvenue. Plus tôt ce matin, nous avons accueilli le Téchoc Kenny de l'Irlande à Montréal. Depuis longtemps, le Canada entretient une relation solide avec l'Irlande, une relation basée sur un passé commun, des valeurs partagées et surtout des objectifs conjoints. C'était donc un plaisir d'avoir la chance d'apprendre à mieux se connaître. Notre matinée a débuté avec une rencontre bilatérale productive, au cours de laquelle nous avons notamment discuté de l'accord économique et commercial global qui entrera en vigueur le mois prochain et des nombreux avantages qui en découleront pour la classe moyenne. Taoiseach Kenny and I talked about the importance of growing and strengthening the middle class in our two countries, and we believe that CETA, the Comprehensive Economic Trade Agreement, will do just that. By reducing trade barriers, we will open up access to the world's second largest market, making it easier for Canadian businesses to reach new customers and cheapers, cheaper for Canadians and their families to buy from Europe. On the first day of CETA's entry into force, 98% of EU tariff lines will be removed for all Canadian goods, and once CETA is fully implemented, 99% of goods will be tariff-free. That means more choices and lower prices for Canadians. By opening up new markets, businesses will be able to grow and create good, well-paying jobs that the middle-class citizens of our country need. This agreement will help to put food on the tables for families while strengthening our communities. An ambitious and comprehensive trade deal, CETA is a model for global trade as it establishes a framework to create real, meaningful growth that will benefit everyone, not just the richest 1%. It includes provisions to protect workers' rights, safeguard our environment, support public services, and resolve investment disputes through an improved and independent system. That's what makes CETA a truly progressive deal in line with the values of its signatories. En concluant cette entente, le Canada, l'Irlande et tous les partenaires européens ont fait preuve de leadership sur la scène internationale et nous attendons avec impatience l'entrée en vigueur de l'ASCG dans les prochains mois. Encore une fois, merci d'avoir été avec les, des nôtres aujourd'hui et merci au Tishak Kenny pour cette rencontre productive. I look forward to taking your questions afterwards, but now I'm pleased to welcome a friend of Canada, Tishak Kenny, for a few words. Thanks, Justin. Garmagev, uh, Falche, welcome. Um, first of all, I want to say that I met with the Prime Minister very briefly at the Climate uh, Change Conference in Paris. I'm very happy to have been able to come here to Canada and to Montreal, his home city today, and have a really good conversation with the Prime Minister uh, about the things that we can do together. Um, and the situation is that Ireland shares very strongly the views of Canada about the opportunity uh, for trade and investment, about the opportunity for prosperity and jobs, and about the things that unite us. I've, I've thanked the Prime Minister uh, for the for the historic generosity and openness and warmth that the Canadian population have shown to our uh, immigrants through forced emigration because of economic circumstances and other reasons over the last 200 years. Uh, and I thank the Prime Minister also for keeping the visa opportunities open for two years for many young people who might want to come here to Canada to gain experience and to work uh, in this great country. I've invited Prime Minister Trudeau to come to Ireland when he has the opportunity to do so, following in the footsteps of his own late father who visited as Prime Minister in the 1970s. Um, and he may have the opportunity to go back uh, to Inish Free and see its tranquil beauty uh, in the morning. Uh, I do want to say that we had a really good discussion about CETA. And from our perspective, clearly uh, this is a real opportunity for Europe and Canada to work together for Ireland and Canada to work together. And we see enormous potential both ways now in terms of the Chambers of Commerce, business interests, manufacturing, products, uh, exports and imports to either country. And we are going to follow through on that. Uh, also, in a European sense, obviously with, um, with Brexit underway, when the United Kingdom has left the European Union, Ireland's an English-speaking country in the Eurozone, and we can see ourselves as being an important factor in Canada's investment to Europe through Ireland to Europe in the same ways as the United States did so many years ago uh, when the uh, European uh, Economic Community became the European Union. So we've talked about a range of other opportunities uh, for investment here and um, um, 
here and to Ireland and Europe. We also uh, discussed the uh, relevance of our approaches to the uh, Trump administration in the United States. Clearly, I pointed out uh, to uh, Justin the long-established connections that Ireland has had with the United States and how we can work on those uh, for the benefit of this new administration um, in seeking out ways to have really effective trading relations that will work for Canada across the border to the US and will work for the US uh, along with Canada to Europe uh, and Ireland. So this has been a very good conversation, a very good meeting, and I thank you for taking the time uh, to give us that opportunity, and we look forward to strengthening the relations between uh, the Irish uh, and the Canadians uh, in the times ahead. And thank you again, Prime Minister.